Hey folks, uh, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about something that's going to blow your mind. Seriously, it's like the world of online business has handed us a golden ticket. Ever thought about how easy it is to set up your online presence? I mean, look, I'm, I'm looking at the screen. I'm, I'm talking specifically to those who are in the business setting appointments and then delivering top-notch services. I mean, we're talking about game-changing combo here. A sprinkle of tech savviness, a dash of convenience, and bam, you've got a recipe for success. But hold on to your seats. Stick around, because by the end of this video, I am going to drop a bombshell which is going to make you rethink how you've been operating to this point. Let's dive in. But first, a short story. Why am I getting into this? Number one, after my last video, somebody reached out to me and said, can you spend some more time talking about that fancy scheduling app? Okay, I'm going to do that. Number two was a more personal story. I met a massage therapist and she was fantastic. My back was sore and she made it better. Here's the problem. I could not schedule an appointment with her. I can only call her and I can only reach her if she didn't um, have another client on the table. So imagine that. I'm a busy individual. She's a busy individual. How are the two connect? How is she to grow her business? And that is what gave me the inspiration for this video. So be, if you're a massage therapist, a chiropractor, any medical practitioner that depends on bookings, or if you're a landscape artist, if you are, I don't know, a designer, anyone whose business it is to book an appointment and then talk to the client and finally get paid, this is a video for you. We're going to start off by tackling some of the things that people who need to schedule appointments struggle with the most. One, uh, struggling to keep track of all the different types of appointments that you allow your customers to, to set. Another thing that people are struggling with, how do you replace a human being from managing and administering appointments? Attached to that is the problem of scheduling, rescheduling, and cancellations. And your calendar is constantly shifting as plans change, and it's very hard to keep up. I get it. Setmore is an appointment scheduling app, much like Calendly, but I find that it has more features for free and is substantially more flexible for the needs of clients of mine who are just starting out. We're going to create a new account, and we're going to go through the steps of customizing what we need to set up. Give yourself, a, uh, provide your business name, provide your business industry, your phone number, your region, the currency that you deal with. That's going to be important, especially for billing. Then you'll be able to connect your uh, calendars so that appointments get inserted in your calendars. Now, I'll tell you right off the bat, the syncing of calendars. So when people cancel or change something, that's a premium feature. Keep that in mind. So let's take a look at what the free account offers you. It's up to four users. It's $0 a month. It has unlimited appointments. Calendly only gives you one. You can accept payments. You have a custom booking page. You have an app that you can give your clients to use. Customizable notification, email reminders, and it integrates with payments and other platforms. This is fantastic. What we're going to do is we, I'm going to just briefly show you some of the customization you might want to do. Maybe you have a logo. Wonderful. People can recognize you across platforms. See this? This is your custom link if you're doing online sessions. Let's say you're a coach. You ne no longer have to use Zoom. In your meeting invite, you will have that link so people can join you online. Here's where all the services are listed. They're, they're managed in a separate menu. This is your working hours for a business. You can customize it the way you want. Think about it this way. Here is where you set up time for your business, but then if you have multiple service providers in your business, they can set their own times. You can introduce breaks. Let's say you want to take a lunch break. Maybe you're going on vacation. You can put your time off. Here's where you provide all of the particulars of your um, specific business. Again, 
you you see that the logo hasn't propagated, uh, but that's just because I haven't refreshed this page. When you're ready to grow, this is where you're going to be adding your team. They will have their own contact information. They will have be able to structure their working hours. Maybe they're showing up in your business only twice a week. Maybe they're helping you out only on the weekend. This is where you're going to customize your services. Let me quickly update this so this looks exactly as if this is a massage um, uh, therapy business. See that buffer time? That buffer time is amazing. I am inserting 10 minutes between my appointments so my clients are not staggered back to back and I have some breathing room. You can create that in many different ways. Now, I'm not going to do video because I'm doing everything in person. This is a massage service uh, business anyway. And this is where the magic occurs. The booking page. This is what your clients see. Your booking page URL. Your QR code. Let's say you're a shop. You want to display something in your window. Go ahead. Download this. Print this out. And people can go walk by your store. Walk by your practice. Scan this and book an appointment right on the spot. You can integrate bookings with Facebook, Instagram, and some other apps. Some of them are free. Some of them require a paid account. Further, you can play around with what you want to display. Your booking policies are also flexible. How many days, hours, weeks do you want to allow your clients to book your appointment um, before the actual time? Or then scheduling window. Maybe you want to give six months of uh, your open calendar for people to uh, book your appointment in. Feel free. In my case, massage, let's not have an appointment booked earlier than a day and ahead. And I'm going to give them 60 days ahead of time to book their appointments. Cancellation policy is going to be 24 hours. And I'm going to make my booking page very simple. What appointment? What, what is the service? I'm going to give them a first available spot. It helps. I'm going to skip providers because I'm the only provider in my business. I'm going to make sure that when they come to register, they also have this little function. They can book a new appointment in the confirmation email that they're going to receive. That's nifty. I will require them to provide me an email because I'm going to use it for my email campaigns later on. And then some other customizations like when the week starts, what am I uh, showing? Uh, am I going to show them duration, business hours? I don't really care for people to know my business hours. Local time. It helps if you're a consultant and you're consulting across the globe. And then some niceties. This is where you look professional. I'm in Canada, so I don't have a state. I have a province. I don't have a zip code. I have a postal code. I can manage this right here. I can also take payments. Recall, they are also included in the uh, free plan. Square, Stripe, PayPal. Beautiful. I can connect them here and I can click that little gray button and say, I want to accept my payments. I can also customize my booking page. We are going to use it in the next section because now that we have a QR code, now that we have a booking page, let's display it on a website. And the first website that we're going to build is using AI. The promise of this website is create a site in 60 seconds with no code and AI content. Okay, if that's the promise, this is what I want to do. I want to create a website for a massage therapy business located in Toronto. My business is called, hmm, what should I give it? Let's say something silly. Demo video, because this is a demo video I'm doing. That's it. I press, press this button. It takes about a minute. Boom. Your website is ready. You can play around with colors. Orange, ah, too bright. Let's have something peaceful. Purple is good. You can play around. See that up at the top? This is where you control every section of your website. Hero, this is that first page that you see. Let's add a logo here quickly. Boom, it's done. Let's, um, I don't really like the wording, but you see that AI has already included statements for us to work with. Let's say, welcome to um, my wellness, um, no, my massage therapy business. 
I'm not going to change any subheadlines, but you see that you can play around with a lot of things here. What we do need to do is instead of collecting emails on the front page, create a button. Let's grab that link from set more, paste it in here. And the button is going to say, book your massage session now. I'm going to get rid of uh, email collection because email is going to be collected through my sign up form anyway. Voila. The website has features. You can feel free to change them, but you have text. If you need to add an image, add an image, make it look as beautiful as you want. Frequently asked questions, another call to action, and then you can add your social links. If you have your social platforms, special URLs, whatever you want. And more importantly, your pricing section is a paid feature, but you don't need it because you have it on the sign up form. Privacy policy and terms of service are very important if you want to be advertising on Facebook or other social platforms. Let's post this. Let's give it a name and our website is live. Now you can see that the text is slightly different because I had to go back and change some things. So apologies for that. Let's go back to uh, uh, set more. And now we're able to add our website that took us less than 60 seconds to build. And let's take a look at how a booking form looks now. Copy this, open up a new window and voila, people are ready to book your services. And should they want to check out who you are, they'll go to this website and read up on what a wonderful professional you are and how many ways you can help the clients. Great, isn't it? Okay, it's all done. But but let's say you want something fancy. Let's, let's say that you want to add your personal touch. Canva to the rescue. Yes, Canva can create websites as well. Go to templates, website design. Pick something that works for you. Let's just say massage websites. Something comes up. You don't even need a premium plan. Find out something that's free and just drag it onto the page. Look at this. Each screen, each section represents a web page of a website. You can have videos. You can get, uh, you can have any section that you want. And then if you've ever used Canva, you know how easy it is to customize. So you can add images. You can add icons. You can provide services. You can even reconfigure uh, your pages. Whatever sequence you want, whatever colors you want, play around. And then you go to preview your website. Voila, look at that. Look at that. You were just managing images and text and all of a sudden you created a website. You can have it with navigation. You can have it without navigation. Now for navigation to work, you actually need to name each one of those pages. It looks fantastic on a mobile phone because it's responsive. And the only thing we need to do is that button on the front page. Let's add a link to it and off we go. Again, we're going to grab that link from set more, click those three dots, add link. Beautiful. And the only thing that's left to do is go to publish your website and grab that free domain and click continue. The only, the only drawback of this uh, way of working is that you're not going to have a sexy domain like 123.com. It's going to be the name .my .canva .com, but hey, it's free and it took you less than a minute to build. Now, let's talk about that secret bombshell I promised you. Let's say your clients have booked a session with you. You have a wonderful website and now to ease on the administrative burden, Give them a preliminary form to fill out, especially if you're doing a business such as website creation or consulting, or you're a coach, you want to find out something about your client. Tally.so is a wonderful place to start. You don't have to start with a blank slate. Here, we'll pick this web project intake questionnaire. Let's say you're building websites. Wonderful. Use this template and configure it to your heart's content. And again, it is free to use. All of the links are going to be down in the description. I like them a lot and I use them in my intake because, hey, that's an extra way of showing your clients that you care and that you are a professional. They have done an amazing job at making it so simple to create an intake form that it's crazy. And the final touch, we're not done yet, Zapier. Now, Zapier allows you to connect different applications and 
create your process in a fully automated fashion? Well, if you use Tally, you can go from Tally to set more and take the information of a form and create a new contact. Now, do you want to do this? Do you need to do this? I'm just telling you that there is nothing that's impossible. Your administrative burden can go. That's a wrap. Wasn't that amazing? For some of you, you might still be overwhelmed and it might seem tricky. If that's the case, drop a comment in the description. Reach out to me. I can help. That's my business to help you. But for others, you have no excuse for not having an automated business process. Leave a comment in the description if you like this video. Please share. It would mean the world to me. And subscribe to the channel for more content. See you in the next one.